In this lesson, I would like to introduce you to a really cool feature. Now, it's not really a basic Dreamweaver kind of thing, but I want to get you curious about it because what we're going to talk about is regular expressions, and we could do a couple of chapters easily just on regular expressions. My goal here is to get you curious about them. Now, what are they? What exactly are regular expressions? Now, before I get into that, just remember, technical information is about to be disseminated. So please stay alert at all times. Regular expressions basically give you greater control over your search parameters. Up to this point, although we've done some pretty neat things, I mean, you look for roses, you get roses. You know, you find a tag. It's pretty straightforward. This changes the rules. It allows us basically to search for virtually anything within a Dreamweaver document. And it uses its own code, its own language, if you will, to help you find what you need. And they're commonly called regex, if you've ever heard that expression before. Now let's start out with a little Where's Waldo. I'm looking in my documents, say, for a phone number. And incidentally, we will actually go into Dreamweaver and show you how this works. And so that's a U.S. phone number. It's formatted with the area code up front, 316. That's actually my area code for Wichita, Kansas. And then 123 and a hyphen, 4567 is a typical U.S. phone number. Now, I know there's other types of formats in different countries for phone numbers, but this is mine. This is a U.S. phone number. I want to find all the phone numbers in my documents because, oh, I put my phone number in. Let's say, contact me at a phone number, but I changed my phone number, and it's on 150 pages. What do I do? Well, if it's the same number, that might not be too hard. But let's say it's more than one type of number, you're just looking for numbers formatted like this. Well, let me show you the regular expression you would use. You would type into the area looking for defined backslash D, D, and D, backslash again, backslash, backslash, D, 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 and then D, 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 4. There is a space right here. 1, 2, 3, 1, 2, 3, hyphen, 1, 2, 3, 4. What I'm saying with a backslash D is computer, Dreamweaver, find any combination of any numbers, no matter what the numbers are, that are in a format of three with a space, then three with a hyphen, and then four. In doing so, I can find every single phone number if it's in that format. Now, if we go into a different type of format, commonly in the United States, we put parens around the 316 or the area code. Okay, so that formula I showed you is not going to work. But this will. So what I've done simply is add that paren here and here in saying find any numbers that are enclosed within a paren here and a paren here, and then the rest of it would be the same. But that means it won't find the other numbers that don't have the parens. Is there a way to solve this? With regex, you can probably do anything you want. So let me show you this. Here we go again with that kind of number and the other ones. Notice the question mark I put after the paren, the left and right paren. When you use a question mark, you're saying with or without the paren. So in this case, if I use that expression, everything else is the same. It will allow me to find, if I need to, any phone numbers that are formatted like this one or any phone numbers that are formatted the other way. Now, there's another way we can write this. Let me show you this, not to further confuse the issue. This is doing the same thing except for one thing. Notice the D and then the three in braces, and the D and the three in braces, and then the D and the four. Instead of having to type out that backslash D four times, then three times, then three times, all you have to do is say, I want three numbers, I want three numbers, I want four. Now, it does change some other things in how we put it together. This is kind of a very precise language, if you will, and it's not very forgiving. You have to put it together the right way or it won't work for you. But it is an excellent way to find just about anything you need in a Dreamweaver document. Now, let's apply what we've learned here actually within Dreamweaver. Time to put theory into practice. Go into your pages in our worksite and open up Iris. Okay, at the bottom, I've got some phone numbers for us. Now, let's be realistic about this. You wouldn't have phone numbers in the same group that were in different formats, but it'll help illustrate what we're talking about using these regular expressions. Also, well, do this first. Go into Edit and go down to Find and Replace. Now, what I have for you is I have those expressions already done. 
I want you to go into your exercise folder and you will find a folder called queries. Okay, that's where they are. Now all we have to do is click this button right here and that's for loading. Locate that folder. I've got mine like usual on my desktop and here they are. Now I've added one extra one if you want to play around. This one actually checks for duplicate words. But here are the three that we talked about. And let's start with unformatted. Go and select it and click open. And well, there it is. So it's saying an unformatted number, three space, three hyphen, four. And say find next. And there it is. But it won't find the other ones because of the way they're formatted. Just those two. If we come back here again, and we go into the US phone number right here, that's the formatted one. Click open. You can see the parens there in there. That's all that's changed. And we say find next. And don't forget when we're talking about finding these things, we could do the entire site if we wanted to, not just the current document. So it's finding these, but it's not finding those. Last one. Come in here and do US Universal. And as you can see, there are the question marks right there in there. And we can say find next, and it will find them all. Let's do one more thing. Let me go ahead and go back into the formatted one right here. Let's say for the sake of argument that we're looking for phone numbers that exist in the 316 area code. And they're on all kinds of pages, but that's what we're looking for. What happens in the U.S. sometimes is because there's so many phones, and I don't know how it works, but they're running out of numbers, and they're adding and actually changing area codes where you used to have maybe a 316 and now it's going to be 317 or something. So you might have to look for these to change them. So if we get up here, I'm just going to do one thing. I'm going to remove all those Ds just like that. Let's see if I can get those. And I'm going to replace them with 316. So I'm doing a hybrid here. I'm saying look for any numbers, but the area code must be 316. And if I say find next, it will find that one, and it will find that one. Now we could also come back down here and make a change on a replace using regular expressions too, but that's kind of beyond what we're doing here in the scope of a basic course. What I wanted to do though was get you curious about these things, because they really give you the ultimate power in any find and replace that you want to do. Regular expressions.